What's up, guys? So today I wanted to address a question that I've had in the past, and this is a question I've done a lot of research on, and the question is, is it important to attend a prestigious university? So let me run you through two scenarios, and maybe you can answer this question for yourself. So the first scenario, let's pretend that you graduate high school and you go to a junior college for the first two years, you go to a small university afterwards, it's still an ABET accredited program, and let's say that you, you end up with, let's say, $40,000 in debt. And you can actually have a lot less debt than this, depending on how you do it. But let's just pretend, for argument's sake, you end up with $40,000 worth of debt. So the second scenario, let's pretend that you graduate from college, and instead of going to the small university, you go to a prestigious university like MIT. So these prestigious universities can cost like forty thousand dollars a year so the other route you're going you're you're having you know forty thousand dollars debt in total the prestigious route you're ending up forty thousand debt just the first year let's say you do a four four year engineering program most most of the time it's at least five if you're being realistic so that's significantly more debt so what you need to ask yourself is this the amount of money that you spent, the extra money, does it add that much value to your life? So let's say that you spent $100,000 more to go to a prestigious university. Will being able to say that you attended MIT or Stanford or one of these really good schools, will that add $100,000 of value to your life? And remember, you're gonna pay interest at some point on those loans. So if the answer is yes, you wanna be able to tell people that, you want the MIT experience, you want you know the nice school experience, whatever, or you wanna go work for NASA or something cool like that, okay, maybe it's worth it to you. I know for me personally, I've got many other things I'd rather spend $100,000 on. I could travel the world for that much money. So you need to ask yourself that. You know, Will it add that much value to your life? The other thing you need to ask yourself is pretend that you're a hiring manager for a minute. Pretend that you're that you want to hire somebody for a job. Let's pretend you have a design engineer job and it's an entry level position. You have one guy that I mean you don't even know that he went to a junior college. All you see is bachelor's degree, 3.2 GPA and he went to a small school in Oklahoma. Okay. And then you see another guy, you have no idea whether he went to a junior college or not either. And you see, okay, MIT graduate, same GPA, 3.2. The MIT graduate is going to look a lot better. But the next thing you're going to look at is what can these guys do? Because generally hiring, hiring managers aren't concerned with what school you went to. They just want to know that you've got a bachelor's degree. That's just a check in the box. And then they want to know what can you do? What skills do you have? What certifications do you have? What classes have you taken? What have you done? And I would seriously doubt that going to a prestigious university would, you know, would cost significantly more. And I doubt that they would give you that much more preparation or real life skills. So that's my question to you is how much value would it add? And what kind of real life skills would attending a prestigious university add? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.